Hi YouTube, I'm back and I'm going to record a what's in my makeup bag. Um, it's basically what I take with me every day, work, outings or whatever. It's what I keep in my makeup bag, my essentials that I have. And um, I wanted to share that all with you. I'm going to start by showing it to you. This is my makeup bag that I keep in my um, purse with me. And this is by Juicy Couture. And I actually got it at TJ Maxx for a really good price. So, you know, sometimes they have good bargains in TJ Maxx. Sometimes they're a little too overpriced for me. And I'm like, um, no. But, um, this is my makeup bag. And first thing first, I'm going to show you. I keep some, a little travel size of lotion. And this is Malibu Hearts from the Bath and Body Works Signature Collection. And this is a good travel size to have because you're always going to need lotion after you wash your hands or anywhere, you know. Um, next, this is on no particular order. I'm just reaching in and pulling it out. I have a MAC Lip Glass. And this is in the color ultimate dish and it's a really pretty nude kind of a nude with iridescent silver sparkles in it it's really pretty I'm trying to see if i can get the sparkle for you um i have my i don't know why um my beauty blender sponge the purple one i'm actually wanting to get a black one i'll probably pick that up soon but i don't know why my purple one is in there <laughs> i have Lipstick, and this is Faux by MAC. Absolutely enjoy this lipstick. Real pretty neutral. It's kind of, it shows up kind of pink on me though. And that's not a bad thing. It's kind of, well, I got it because I like the pinky nudes more so than just the brown nudes because they kind of wash me out. But I absolutely like, love that color. Um, I also have the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And I love this one. Um, this one and the Urban Decay Primer Potion are two of my favorites. But I mainly use, um, when I'm at home doing makeup, you know, taking time to get prepped. I use the MAC Paint Pot and Painter Lou, which is one of my favorites. So, that's just my travel um, eyeshadow primer. And also I also have a lip liner. And this is New Truffle by NYX or NYX however you pronounce it. I absolutely love this color. Um, sometimes some lipstick colors can kind of wash me out or I want to tone it down a little bit. I'll put this on first. Um, and this is my waterproof eyeliner pen by e.l.f. I actually really, really love their eyeliners because their gel eyeliner is really black, really creamy. And this one is really good um, belt tip eyeliner. And it was only, this one was a dollar, a dollar or three dollars. Either way, it was really, you know, really inexpensive. And that's always a good thing because you love really finding bargains with, that are inexpensive. Because sometimes you just don't want to pay all that money. Like, I'm iffy on what I spend a whole bunch of money on. But eyeliners are sometimes worth it because I feel like eyeliner completes the look. So, this was a good buy. Um, I have my Revlon Color Stay. And it's in the color Toast. You see it? And um, this is one of my favorite drugstore foundations. Um, I love the MAC Pro Longwear Formula and the MAC Studio Fix Formula. But like on an everyday basis sometimes when I'm going to work or whatever, I'll throw on this. And it's a really good coverage. Um, makes my skin look really nice even. It's just one of my favorite drugstore foundations. So if you're in the market trying to find, you know, a good foundation, you kind of don't know where to start if you're beginning and all that stuff. Um, Revlon Color Stay is a good line. I have uh, uh, an Urban Decay Naked Basics mm -hmm. palette in my purse. Mm -hmm. And I'm opening it up for you. And it's just a, you know, good bit of everyday news. It's simple. You can do a couple of looks with it. A nice smoky eye. A uh, nice cat eye. I mean, you can do so much, much with this. And this is a good color actually to fill in your brow with. It's actually a really dark brown. It looks black, but it's just a really dark brown. It's a good palette to have. And I love the size of it. Very um, compact and convenient. Next, I have a Revlon lip gloss. And I absolutely love this color. It's like lavender with hot pink sparkles in it. And it is absolutely gorgeous. 
This is Crystal Lilac from the Revlon Color, um, Color Burst uh, Color Burst line, and I absolutely love this one. I have a few of these, but I keep this one in my purse because I love putting it over those, you know, pinky nudes I was talking about, and just putting it on by itself. It's just really pretty for every day. Um, um, next, I have some duo eyelash adhesive. Some days I wear eyelashes, and you know, just in case eyelashy side it doesn't want to stay put. I always have backup. Next, I have a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I actually really like these. I put this on with the lip liner because it kind of washes me out because of how light it is. But this is in the color Tokyo. And I'm telling you, I love these things. And it's a good brand. Like, for the price and everything, good pigmentation. And I absolutely love this. It goes with me everywhere. Also, I have a little perfume. And this is Endless Love by um, Victoria's Secret's Garden. And oh my gosh, let me smell it. Y'all, it smells so good and fresh. Oh my god. Let me stop this because I'll be sniffing it the whole video. I have a crease brush, and there's like three other brushes like a liner brush, a eyeshadow brush, um, a smudge brush, some, and another, some other brush. But I, for some reason, don't know where they are. And I might want to find those because I got those specifically to go in my makeup bag and my purse. And they're like the small travel size. So they're real convenient. So if you're out and you're having to do touch-ups or you're out, you're running late, and you're, you're in the car and you throw on some makeup, these are brushes are very convenient. And you, you don't want to bring those big, um, long brushes and try to stuff them in a purse. And then mm -mm, it's too much. So I have, if I can't find them, I'm actually going to get some more. Also, I do have another Revlon Color Burst, and this is in the color Bellini. It's like a peach kind of color. Oh my god, this one too is really pretty. It's like a peachy color with gold iridescence and stuff. Oh my god, this is this is this is this is the truth. I love this one. This one by itself is absolutely amazing. But if I have on a nude, a lighter nude, I put this over it. It does wonders. It does work. Let's see next. I have another lip liner, and this is in the color Natural. I really like using this one, too, under um, my lipsticks as well. Um, this is a little bit lighter, and it goes perfect with all, you know, color um, lipsticks. I don't use it for my darker ones, of course, because, you know, they're darker. But my nudes, my lighter colors, corals, things like that, even oranges and, you know, lighter colors. I go for this one. Um... I have a Rev Revlon um, Color Burst Lip Butter, and this is in the color Papaya, and it's a really pretty bright orange, you can see that. It is really pretty, and um, the color is like a, it's a nice neon peachy kind of color, so it kind of brings out your lips, you know, if you have a real neutral eye like I have on today, and you can add this as a lip, and it's an instant pop of color. So. I have one more thing to show you all, and I don't know what it is with these liners. I have like two of everything in my makeup bag, but this is the liquid eyeliner from the NYC collection, and I just want to show you how pigmented it is. It's very pigmented. The t um, tip isn't as sturdy as I would like for it to be, so you got to be really gentle, light strokes um, to get it to apply well, and it's great for your... Um, when you're trying to wing it out though, this is what I like to use this for because the brush just kind of flicks and it's really good. So, thank you for watching. Please rate, subscribe, and like, and you all come back. I'm probably going to do a tutorial on this look. This is my everyday look when I'm going to work or running errands. So, if you want to see more, subscribe and come back, and I'll have plenty in store for you all. Thank you.